Hello you guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be crochet horror themed plushies with me. So if you guys have watched my last few videos or follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I am going to be selling at a horror themed Comic Con, which I apologize, I feel like I can never say the word horror correct. Horror. I don't know why it's such a weird word for me to say. But anyways, spooky Halloween horror themed comic-con so i specifically filmed a few days worth of me crocheting for a video for just a little crochet with me and i'm excited to share all the stuff that i crocheted throughout today's video with you guys now i am going to have links in the description box below as always for you guys i'll have a google doc linked below that has all of the materials i use on it including yarns crochet hooks my compression gloves, all the materials. And then I will also have all the crochet patterns I used for everything in today's video also linked in the description box below for you. So with that, we're just gonna get on to what I have crocheted throughout today's video. Okay, so I'm currently working on this chick that I started yesterday and I'm going to finish him up. I am making these little chicks and then they're gonna have little knives as like the duck with a knife so this is pretty close to being done so I'm gonna go ahead and finish it Okay, here's the chick done. I have the yarns here for Michael Myers, so that's what I'm gonna be working on next. Okay, so far I'm 31 minutes in and I have finished the body, so now I'm going to start on the arms. Okay, so I finished the body and one arm so far, and I'm going to go ahead and do the second arm now. I am upstairs in the yarn room now. Since my parents got home, they are hanging out with the dogs, so I'm going to crochet up here until it's time for me to go make dinner. Okay, so I have all the little pieces, the knife, the arms and the little collar piece done. So I've just gotta sew all this together and then do the face details and the hair as well. Okay, so I just finished this guy off. I'm going to glue the hair down and do some red fabric marker on the knife, just because that's easier than embroidering red yarn in, like the pattern says. And I actually really 
like the way this method turns out anyway. So I'm gonna do that and then this guy is officially done, but you get the idea of what he's going to look like. Okay, so now that I have finished Michael, I'm going to move on to Jason. This pattern pack also has him included. Freddy Krueger is also in the pattern pack, but I did already make him from this pattern pack. So now I'm just moving on to Jason. I'm getting my time tracker app ready so that I can track how long he takes me. And otherwise I'm just gonna get started. I will have to take a break to go make dinner soon because it's already like four o'clock right now. But I will be back to this once dinner is over. And uh, yeah, but for now, I'm just gonna get as much work done as I can on this for the next like 30 minutes or so. Okay, so I have made the body now, and it looks a little funny because I need to sew this part flat, um, but I'm going to come back to this after dinner time. Since it is 4.43 right now, I should get started cooking. Okay, back to crocheting now. I made one arm, and I'm now on to the second, and I also sewed this mask piece down. Okay, here is Jason done. I got the eyes a little bit off, but otherwise I think he's cute. But anyways, that is him, and that's gonna be it for me for this video for today because I'm gonna go live on TikTok right now tonight, and of course, I can't really record here and then also be live, but I will have more crocheting for some other guys whenever I am able to sit down and film again. Okay, it's been a few days and I did some crocheting at my boyfriend's house, but a lot of these items are kind of whips because I forgot certain materials and things like that. So I'm gonna be finishing up a few of those items right now and then we'll move on to new things. So first I have this axolotl here that I'm going to make into like a horror themed axolotl, of course. So I'm going to do a red X for the second eye. That's why there's only one eye. And then also some red stitches on it. So kind of like zombie-ish. So that is what I'm gonna work on right now. And then continue on with some other stuff after.
Okay, so here is this axolotl done. And I'm now going to finish Zero that I started making from The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is the dog from The Nightmare Before Christmas. So I have him mostly done, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish him now. Okay, here is zero done. And I now have a blue bonnie that I need to finish. I didn't bring the other blue color with me to my boyfriend's house the other day. So I'm now going to finish that. And at some point I probably make like a little bit of this and then we're gonna go out to dinner. So I won't be finishing it right now but I will finish this once we're back but anyway for now I'm gonna get started and work on this a little bit all right you guys so I've been home for a little while and just doing some other stuff not crocheting but I'm now getting back to crocheting before we left I got the little nose piece and then the belly patch done and now I'm going to start on the bow and then I'll need to make the ears and sew all of those on. Okay, here's Bonnie right now with the belly patch and the nose piece sewn on. So I'm gonna do the bow next, and then the ears, and then the little details left, like the nose and all that. Okay, here is Blue Bonnie done, and oh my goodness, I think I like her even more than the Purple Bonnie. I think I do. I think it's honestly just a factor of this is the second time I've made this, so pretty much any time you make a pattern for the second time, it's going to come out better the second time. So I don't know if it's necessarily the colors that makes it better in my mind. I think it's just the craftsmanship. I got the ears placed a little better. And I think I did better on making the nose and that kind of stuff. But anyways, she is done. And I am going to make a Yoda really quick, even though it is kind of late. But it is a small Yoda. And um, this is all I'm doing for the rest of the night. Um, but I wanted to make this because it is May the 4th tomorrow. So I wanted to be able to post this on Instagram tomorrow. Um, and this isn't horror themed obviously Yoda is not really a horror character but I did still think that he would fit in with the 
setup I'm gonna have because he is still a really popular character. So I'm still including him because he is coming with me to this event. So anyways, as soon as I find my hook here, I'm going to start this. And this is a new pattern to me. I literally just bought it. So I'm going to also time myself with how long it takes. But as soon as I find my hook, I will start making this guy. <laughs> Okay, so here's a little mini Yoda and he is so stinking cute and he took me 35 minutes to make so I'm really happy with that and he'll be an item that I can charge a lot less for at this Comic Con as well as at my regular markets so I'm excited about this and this new little pattern and excited that I made him before May the 4th so that I can post him tomorrow on May the 4th but anyways that is definitely going to be it for tonight for what I'm filming. Um, I'll probably film one more day worth of crocheting, so that'll be tomorrow. And that'll probably be it for this video since I have already worked on quite a few different items throughout this video. But I will come back tomorrow and share what else I am working on with you guys. Hello you guys, it is now the next day and I am getting started with crocheting. I am going to make a black chicken right now with red eyes so I'm using the typical chicken pattern that I always use but black fluffy yarn instead of like a regular white or gray color I was trying to use these red safety eyes on this chicken and they will not snap on because the yarn is just too thick. So instead I'm gonna embroider some red eyes just with red yarn here um, and then we will go from there. Okay, here is the chicken done and I'm now going to make a zombie themed turtle so I have this turtle pattern pack that I bought that I have made most of the turtles out of um, so the next one I'm going to do is the zombie turtle. Alright, here are the four fins for this turtle, and I am now starting the head.
here is the zombie turtle all done with and I'm now going to move on to some Five Nights at Freddy's minis probably do two or three of them and then that'll probably be it for me crocheting today because I do have some cleaning and stuff I need to get done as well um, but we'll see how many I get to depending on how long they take okay so I am now starting a chica for one of the minis she is the little chick Okay, here is the mini chica done. I think she turned out so stinking cute. So I'm now going to make a second one actually because I have the yarn right here, so why not? And then I think I will make a mini blue bonnie because I do still have the blue yarn over here from blue bonnie that I made yesterday. But first I'm gonna do another chica since it's all right here. Okay, so here's the second little chica, and here is the two of them together. I think they're so cute. I'm gonna work on a blue bonnie mini, like I mentioned to you guys now. And then, like I said, that's probably gonna be it for me crochet-wise today because I need to clean up this yarn room. It is a disaster. <laughs> but blue bonnie first. Okay, so here is this little mini Bonnie, and now that is all for this video. Oh, like I said, I gotta go clean. I don't want to, but I need to, so that's gonna be it for my crocheting for today, and also it for this video, but I will have a little recap for you right now in the outro, and then that'll be all for today. All right, you guys, so that is all for the crochet portion of today's video now i do want to do a little recap of the stuff i crocheted i'm not going to recap all of this in order i'm sure i'm not i'm gonna do my best but i don't think i'm gonna get it right because i don't necessarily remember the order that i made all of this in you guys watched it in order but it's been a few days since i filmed so i don't remember the exact order that i made all of this in but anyways, I am just going to show you everything that I have here that I made throughout this video. So I'm pretty sure the first things I did was this Michael Myers and this Jason. So these came out super cool. I really love how they turned out. So I still do need to glue down Michael's hair here so that he doesn't look like he's balding in the back. <laughs> That's what the pattern actually says to do is to glue down the hair. So I still need to do that part, but otherwise he is done and I think he turned out super cute or spooky, I guess I should say. And then we also have Jason here, which again, I think he turned out super cool. So that is him. Next. I'm not remembering the exact order from here on out, basically. I don't think I'm remembering the exact order correctly. So, anyways, 
I know I had a little chick that I finished throughout this video at some point. I hope I'm remembering all the stuff correct for this recap. I apologize if I'm not. <laughs> I've already lost my mind and it's only been like three or four days since I crocheted most of this stuff. But anyways, um, I know I'm pretty sure I finished one chick in this video. It was already started but I finished it and this is going to be a duck with a knife. I haven't made the knives for these little ducks yet but it is gonna have a little knife. So that is this. So next we have this spooky little axolotl. I really love how this turned out. It was basically done when I showed it to you guys, but I did have to embroider on the little details. So I did that throughout today's video. Next we have Zero, who I also had a good portion of him done, but I had to finish him. So I finished him in today's video again. He is super cute. Love him. Next we have a blue bonnie that I finished and I love her so much. I don't know why but I think the blue might be better than the purple. I know the purple is like the original but I am really loving this blue. I actually combined two different yarns. I don't think I mentioned this to you guys as I was crocheting but I used Parfait Chunky and then I thought I was going to use Parfait Chunky in Seaside for the accent color, but then I ended up not really liking those blues together and it didn't feel accurate to me. So instead I used Big Twist Posh in the light blue color. I'm not exactly sure what that color is called, but it's the lighter blue color. So that's what I used along with Parfait Chunky and it actually worked out really well and I'm really happy with how this Bonnie turned out. So that is her. Again, another project that I had mostly done, but I had to finish off. Um, I only had her body, so I had to do all the rest of it. Alrighty, next item. We have a spooky little black chicken with the red eyes. I think this is super cute. I make these fluffy chickens for my regular markets, so I was hoping that a kind of spooky version of this chicken would go over well. We shall see. I will of course share with you guys in the market breakdown, but that is another thing that I made throughout today's video. Next we have a zombie turtle, which might be one of my favorites. I think he turned out super cool. I love the brain as the shell of the turtle. Like, I think this is so genius and I literally like would have never thought of that, but I love it so much. So that is this guy. Next we have a little Yoda, which like I said when I was crocheting in this video, I know Yoda is not like a spooky character at all, but I wanted to make him because it was May 3rd as I was crocheting him. And I wanted to post him on May 4th, and then I also just thought, you know what, he's a cute character in general. I'm sure there'll be somebody at this Comic Con that will want a little Yoda guy. So I made him, and he turned out super cute. Now the final thing that I have to share with you guys is a few Five Nights at Freddy's minis. So I made the big blue bonnie, so I decided to do a mini blue bonnie as well so she's with the same yarns and everything and I think she turned out super cute and finally I have two mini chicas which I think I might like these even better than the big chicas I don't know they're so stinking cute so I also did these two in today's video and that is all for what I crocheted and the crocheting and everything in today's video so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please give this video a big thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what you thought which one of these items was your favorite or let me know what you've been crocheting recently i always love to chat with you guys about all of that kind of stuff in the comments section down below and if you guys do want to see more videos like this one as well as all my other videos make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time i upload a brand new video and if you do want to see more from me, you can check out more videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, and my Ribbler shop, all with crochet patterns from me. 
all of my social medias, which are all at Katie Being Creative, and my second channel here on YouTube, which I don't post on very often, but you can check it out if you're ever interested. All of that is always linked in the description box below for you, as well as for today you can find all the materials I used and all the crochet patterns linked below for you. But with all of that, thank you all so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye!